efficiency in sentence writing compound sentences lesson not one two all right lesson two on this sheet you're going to be creating compound sentences you're going to not have to create the left hand side of the compound sentence you're going to create the right hand side of the compound sentence so as you as you see down here um blank space two lines for you and you got to create you've got to create the right hand sentence so you need to make sure that to the right you have a complete sentence um what is nice about this sheet is they've given you a full sentence to the left they could have just given you like the subject of the sentence to the left and that would have required you to finish the left hand sentence and then do a comma fanboys or semicolon and then do the right hand sentence but that's not what they did all right anyway um, in the instructions, they say that you're going to label your added sentence. You're going to label the S and V of your added sentence. Um, I want you to um, do the S and V on on both the left and right. So, um, Jesse drove, and then Tamika to school is um, is junk. On this one, they're asking for you to do comma coordinating conjunction, but the coordinating conjunction is and so you will take and put and in there and then you'll create a full sentence to the right now um, make sure that you are labeling the sentence that you add to the right and i'm going to go and do this really fast here let's get a smaller there we go okay this is decent all right jesse drove tamika to school and all right well ignoring my kooky formatting here but um this is how it's gonna this is this is a sentence to the right anyway he picked um, yeah he picked her up uh, but he picked is your your verb um, so I made an easy one for you there let me do a, let me do the second one so you're gonna label boats and then as with all second ones you've got a little bit more complicated things going on so are moored in the harbor they want a semicolon as the thing that joins stuff. Okay, just a sec here. I'm not exactly sure what moored is. So, um, docked, is that what it means? Stuck in the harbor? I'm not exactly sure. It's, it's one of those two things. I'm not familiar with boating. Boats are moored in the harbor, comma, I've already got the semicolon, so now I'm just doing the sentence to the right. Okay, that's a ridiculous sentence. I don't know anything. I'm, I don't know what I'm writing about. So, um, they is your subject, and then sit is the verb. And then in the sun, for days on end, without anyone to love them, that's all just junk. So, SV, semicolon SV, but um, to the left, SV just means independent clause. SV means independent clause. So, I, semicolon I. Anyway, you're going to do that all the way down. Good luck.